We're in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to show you how to change the language. Let's click on the Start button, and from here we'll go to Control Panel, and then we'll click on the Language icon. Now from here we see that the default is set to English, United States, and if we want we can click on Options, and we can choose to Preview, and you can see the keyboard, which is very handy. If we want, we can click on Add an Additional Input Method, and we can choose all these different options from all these different languages. Let's go ahead and go back to where we were. And from here, we're going to click on Add a Language. Let's go ahead and choose Spanish. Here we are. Let's go ahead and click Spanish. And now that that's been added, we have a lot of different Spanish options because there's a lot of different countries that speak Spanish. So let's just choose the Spanish Latin America, just sort of generic. Click Add. And now we see the options for Espanol. So we can once again click on Preview and see the way the keyboard's going to look. And we can see the layout name is Latin American. Go ahead and close. We can also choose to add an input method. And we can choose, say, Spanish, for instance. Click Add. And now we see two different keyboards we can preview. And we'll go ahead and click Save. Now, if we move up the Spanish, there we go, then we'll, we will have to restart the computer in order for it to come up in Spanish. So it doesn't happen right away. It happens after you restart. So after this, we can just right-click on this button, choose Shut Down or Sign Out, and then choose Restart. When we come back up, it will start using the new keyboard that is now at the top of the list. If we change our mind and decide to move it back down, we can certainly do that. And if we want to just remove it altogether, just click the Remove button. And that's how you change your language preferences in Windows Server 2016.